Hi guys, this is Omar. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can allow your Honda's infotainment system to download apps from the internet using this simple hacking technique. So let's get right into it. So first thing you need to do is to go to the settings. So it's right here. Uh, you go all the way down. It's the last thing here about the device. Then you go to build number. You have to click this seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now you are a developer. So in the 2017 and 2018 models, here you need to press on model number, then kernel version, then Android version, then baseband version. And here they say that you are a developer. And if you have the 2018 or 2019 model, don't worry. Uh, what you need to press is kernel version, then model number, then build number, then status. Uh, and that should get you to the same place. Now you should see a new menu popping up, which is the developer options. You need to turn on the USB debugging and you press OK. And now uh, the next step, uh, you press the brightness button and the audio and the menu at the same time. So like this. And you should see this new menu coming up. So at this screen you press on this. And then you press and hold the menu button. You should see this new screen coming up. And now at this screen, you press and hold the home button. You will see this new screen coming up. You change the host to device. So whenever you get to this step, uh, you can now grab your laptop. You need to download the Honda Hack file, which I will include in the description of this video. Uh, grab your USB cable. Uh, you can plug it in here, uh, like right there. Now I have this cool light plugged in. Uh, I'll take it off and plug it. Okay, now we go and we open the Honda Hack thing. Now you should see this coming up. And we click root. Okay, so it took me forever to figure out how to get the app to work as my uh, computer has the, the Windows Defender thing and it would keep shutting down the app. So I had to go and turn off the Windows Defender. And if this thing happened to you, do the same thing. Turn off your Windows Defender and enable it. So whenever you click on it, it's going to uh, circle for a few seconds. And it should give you this menu. Uh, your uh, infotainment system should uh, be like this. Like turning off and on uh, like that. And then it should restart. Okay, and now you should see the Honda logo popping up like this. And still acting weird. But this is what should supposed to happen. I mean, it's a, it's a hacking program. So now you go to uh, the app list. And you will see now the Honda installer. You install Honda hack. Okay, there are a couple things I need to mention now. Uh, you're probably also wondering why I'm wearing a different clothes. This is like a couple weeks later, you know, I have very tight schedule. I couldn't get myself to sit down and finish that whole video on that time. But anyway, so uh, when, make sure whenever you install the hand hack to be connected to a Wi-Fi so that you can, you know, download apps and stuff. 
So there is one one problem that happened to me. I didn't expect it to happen, but you know, I got that fixed and I'm going to share with you the solution to that problem. Whenever you install uh for example Play Store so that you would be able to, you know, install apps online, um there's a problem. You know, you will have to install uh an app called uh Google Play services so that you can put your Gmail account and you can sync your Gmail account to all the apps that you would be downloading. Whenever you download that, the Google, uh, the Google Play services, it's gonna slow the heck out of your infotainment system. And do you know what that, what that means? That means your backup camera, your air conditioning, everything wouldn't function the way you want it. So um, let me give you uh, the secret. I mean, what I discovered from uh, my experience. I'm gonna tell you how I fixed that. So. Uh, after you download the Google Play services, install the Google Play Store, uh, and whenever you get that Play Store running, go ahead and uh, uninstall the Google Play services. Go ahead and uninstall that. And then uh, go inside the uh, Honda Hack installer and uninstall Honda Hack. You see what I'm saying? Install everything else, just keep Google Play Store. And then you should be able just to go inside Google Play Store and download apps, and you you you're free to do whatever you want. Um, and you you your car will get back to its normal uh, speed. I mean, Honda is normally slow anyway, but uh, it will get back to what it's normally it was before this. Okay, here is some cool stuff I got. I got Angry Birds. Let me show you that it runs and it works. It's fast. Like, it's really fast. Just make sure you delete everything else except for the Play Store. And you should be good to download anything else. See, I'm right here playing Angry Birds, and the animation is so smooth. Not bad. I love this. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.